Assalamu alaikum my beloved sisters and brothers welcome back to another video if you're new around here I make different videos on Islam helping us better ourselves inshallah so if you'd like to join the family hit subscribe now Ramadan is creeping up quickly a beautiful month where we get to hit pause and assess where we are and really make an effort to focus more on our spirituality so let's talk about what we can do before Ramadan begins to prepare and make the most out of the month to come First of all, we have to have the intention. We have to have a strong intention to really want to do good in Ramadan. It's not just about not eating, but it's about bettering ourselves as a whole, performing good deeds, focusing on worship, and so on. So you might be wondering, okay, how do I keep my intention strong? There's a couple of things we can do. Take some time away from everything before Ramadan begins, away from distractions, Put everything away, sit down, reflect, and think. Ramadan is approaching. What do I want to get out of it? What do I feel I want to work on? What do I want to gain? Think about what Ramadan means to you and what you hope to get out of it and find that desire, that intention that you're certain of what you want to get out of Ramadan. When you have that goal and you know what you want to work towards, that keeps you in check. When Ramadan begins, you'll be able to assess yourself throughout the month and see if you've been working towards your goal or if something needs to change. Number two, now that you've focused on your intentions, make a list. Have a plan. Once you have an idea of what you want to get out of this Ramadan, make a plan. If you decide you want to try to finish reading Quran, for example, once in Ramadan, write it down and then decide how you're going to achieve this. Are you going to read five pages after every prayer each day, or are you going to dedicate one hour a day to reciting Quran? Write it down, decide what works best with your schedule. Decide if you plan to join Taraweeh prayer, for example. Do you want to do this every day? Do you want to do it every other day? Do you want to do it just once a week? Make a plan, write it down. Look at what other deeds you want to do during the month. Do you want to help the needy? How will you do so? Pick a day and plan it. Do you want to increase the dua and dhikr that you do in Ramadan? You could write down some dua and dhikr that you want to include in your daily Ramadan schedule. For example, if you have a sheet of paper, at the top you might write your morning dua that you want to read in the morning. In the middle you might have dua you want to read before breaking your fast, for example. At the bottom maybe you have your night dua that you want to read before going to sleep. So plan this out, so plan this out before Ramadan begins so you don't spend time during Ramadan trying to figure out, hey, what do I want to do today? I have no idea. So plan, 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 write things down. Number three, meal planning. Now this one is useful if you're the one preparing or helping prepare the iftar meal. If you have other members in the household preparing iftar, then you're good to go. But if you're the one responsible for preparing iftar, then it's good to plan ahead before Ramadan begins. What kind of dishes are you thinking of preparing? What do you want your iftars to look like? And preparing grocery lists beforehand. Now within this, you could also decide, hey, which days of the month do I actually want to host people and invite people over for iftar? And what do those meals look like? This is also a great way to increase your reward and barakah because there is reward for the one who hosts people for meals. So this is a nice fun way to get some extra bonus points in Ramadan. Number four, make up your missed fasts. Don't forget to make up any fasts from last year before this Ramadan starts. And if you don't have any fasts to make up, you might find it useful to fast one or two days um, the month before Ramadan to kind of get a feeling of getting ready for Ramadan and the spirit of fasting and gearing up towards Ramadan. And finally, the last piece of advice, do not overdo it. At the beginning of Ramadan, we tend to tell ourselves, hey, I'm going to finish the Quran three times, I'm going to go to every taraweeh prayer, I'm going to host so many iftars, I'm going to take part in all these religious events, I'm going to do extra prayers, I'm going to wake up in the middle of the night, etc, etc, etc. And you make great progress the first five days of Ramadan, and then suddenly you hit a dip and get so burnt out, and the rest of the month you can barely do anything but sleep and eat. So do not overdo it. It's totally fine if you pick just one small thing you want to focus on to better yourself. 
maybe your one goal is to not get angry you decide you're not going to let anything irritate you you won't react angrily you're going to practice having a nice calm kind tone always and that's it just that one thing that you want to focus on the prophet وسلم, said take up good deeds only as much as you are able for the best deeds are those done regularly even if they are few so don't compare yourself to that person who finished the Quran seven times already in Ramadan. It's not all about quantity. Pick what you're able to do and focus on that because we are told the best deeds are the ones we are consistent about. And this isn't a green light to say, don't put in effort and take it easy. No, you should really be striving and pushing yourself. But at the same time, know your capabilities and know what you're able to achieve. So don't put yourself beyond those limits but still work hard. May Allah allow us to reach Ramadan and may you have a very blessed month, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.